Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Good to Grill series where I'm sharing clever ideas for things you can cook on the grill. And today we're making something you probably have never thought of making on your barbecue, salad. Three delicious ways. We're kicking things off today with a grilled Caesar salad. Now you might ask, what's the point of grilling a Caesar salad? Why not just make a fresh Caesar salad instead? Well, grilling your lettuce actually adds a whole other level of flavor to your salad. It adds a bit of a smokiness to it and makes it just a little bit sweeter. It's one of those things you can't knock until you've tried it. So I've got some lovely romaine hearts that I've just cut in half. I'm also going to be using some gorgeous radicchio lettuce in this salad. You could leave this out if you wanted to, but I just find the color is amazing and it's a little bit more bitter than a traditional lettuce, so I love the combination of the two in this salad. I've got my grill heated up to about medium heat and all I'm going to do is drizzle a little olive oil over my lettuce and then I'm going to put it cut side down on the grill. What I'm looking to do is just wilt the lettuce ever so slightly and get some good grill marks happening. So I'm gonna shut the lid of my grill for maybe one to two minutes and as soon as my lettuce has those grill marks, it's time to take it off, chop it all up, and then you can treat this like a traditional Caesar salad. I'm going to finish it with some croutons and some crumbled bacon. I've also got a lovely Caesar salad dressing and of course, some freshly grated Parmesan. Take my word for this one, you're going to wanna to try it yourself. When you do, you'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you thought. Next up today, I'm making a really yummy green salad that's finished off with one of my very favorite things to grill, halloumi cheese. If you've never tried halloumi cheese, it is going to change your life. Trust me on this one. For this salad, we're getting started with some beautiful asparagus that I've trimmed and some zucchini that I've just thinly sliced. I'm going to hit this with a little olive oil and some salt and some pepper, and then it's time to get it to the grill. The goal is for your veggies to turn bright green and end up with these beautiful grill marks on both sides. Once your veggies are done, you can remove them from the heat, give them a good chop, and then plate them with some cherry tomatoes and a little drizzle of balsamic glaze. Like I said, we're going to finish this salad off with some grilled halloumi cheese. If you've never had halloumi cheese before, you are totally in for a treat. It's this salty cheese that's quite firm and it actually keeps its shape during cooking, which makes it ideal for grilling. All you need to do is cook it for one to two minutes per side and then it is ready to be enjoyed with this gorgeous salad. Finally today, I've got a really summery grilled corn salad, and I'm going to be grilling my corn right on the cob. So I've got some corn that hasn't been husked yet, and I've been soaking it for about 10 or 15 minutes. It's really important to soak your corn before you put it on the grill, because otherwise the husks will just burn, and that's not good for anybody. What's really great about this method is that the corn is going to steam inside that wet husk, but it's also going to take on a lot of that smoky flavor. And I just find grilled corn is the best. It just is. While that corn is grilling up, we are also going to grill up some other tasty veggies. So I've got some bell pepper here. I've also got a poblano pepper, which packs a little bit of heat. And I've got some sliced red onion. I'm going to coat all of these in a little bit of olive oil and then place them on the grill. I'm going to close the lid of my grill and let these char away. For the peppers, the more charred they are, the easier they're going to be to peel. So don't be afraid to let them go totally black and blistered on the outside. Once your onions have softened up a little bit, you can take those off the grill and chop them up. The grilling makes them nice and soft and sweet. Lots of caramelization. And then it's time to get our corn off the cob. You're going to want to let it rest a little bit until it's cool enough to handle because of course it's going to be real hot. I'm going to remove the husks from each of my cobs, cut off the end to make sure I have a nice flat surface to work on, and then I'm simply going to run my knife along the sides of the cobs until all of those beautiful corn kernels are ready to be enjoyed. And then once those peppers are nice and blistered, you can remove them from the grill, put them in a bowl, and cover them with plastic wrap. You wanna let those peppers steam away for 10 or 15 minutes. 
That's gonna help the skin separate from the flesh and make them a whole lot easier to peel. If you've cooked your peppers properly, the skin should come off really, really easily, and then all you'll wanna do is remove the core and the seeds and give them a good chop. Into our salad bowl they go. This salad is full of sweet and smoky flavor. I wanna hit it with a little bit of freshness, so I'm going to do that with some freshly squeezed lime juice and a handful of freshly chopped cilantro. If you're not into cilantro, you can do this with parsley as well. Give it all a good stir and it is ready to be enjoyed. This dish is perfect for a party or a potluck. It makes a great side dish for things like chicken or fish. Or if you really wanna make it amazing, you can actually enjoy it with some fried eggs for breakfast. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I really hope you guys will give these grilled salad ideas a try. And if you do, you must tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because I would love to see what you're coming up with on your very own barbecues. For more great grilling ideas, you can check out either of these videos. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.